I'm taking apart an Atari 7800, today on Arctic Lab Services. Start by flipping the console over and removing these five screws. Flipping it back over, we can now remove the top shelf. For the main board, lift slightly on the back, then pull it out clearing the controller ports from the shell. We're done with the bottom half, so we set that aside. Back to the top half, we're going to remove these four buttons. Flip it over and you'll see that each button has two tabs. Push each tab in, then down, then pull the button from the shell. Each button has a spring sitting on the center post. Nothing is holding them in, so make sure you don't lose them. The metal badge strip is adhered to the shell. With the top of the shell done, let's move on to the main board. The two halves of the RF shield is being held together by several bent tabs all around the perimeter of the main board. To separate them, straighten out each tab. They need to be flat and parallel with the RF shield. Even if you get them straight, it may need a little persuasion. I just used a pry tool to pull the RF shield apart. There are two more tabs hidden behind the voltage regulator heatsink. They look straight, but they wouldn't budge. After further inspection, I noticed that they were not twisted, but bent a little. I used my pry tool to straighten them out. Then the top RF shield came off. The bottom shield should just pull right off. And that's it. Now you can clean, repair, or mod your Atari 7800. Thanks for watching.